YouTube, man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid, man. And this is crazy to me. Brandon Boston's insane improved jump shot has just been displayed. And I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong in his upcoming NBA career. So let's break it down and get right into it. Now, first and foremost, man, if you guys don't know, Brandon Boston, we've covered him on the channel for a while now. He was actually the seventh ranked player in the country country coming out of high school of course this dude actually ended up signing to kentucky mcdonald's all-american and actually even played alongside sharif cooper at one point which you guys know if you're playing alongside sharif cooper especially in eybl man you got a good shot on your hands to do big things and then coming out of high school is actually 6'6 175 and definitely was a very good player for sure people thought this dude would be a quick one and done and that he would dominate in high school basketball and then that being said you guys know he had all the top offers kentucky duke kansas all the big schools that you would want to go to and this dude was even averaging around 20 points per game and was just a monster on the court of course attended sierra canyon and you guys know man you're playing against some of the best competition in the country and this dude team actually went 30 and 4 now with that being said of course when he went to college man things have not gone the smoothest for this dude i think specifically just because he really didn't seem like he had the same type of confidence that he did once he was in college compared to when he was in high school but recently a video has just surfaced about Brandon Boston and man I gotta say this dude looks very impressive now roll the clip now Brandon Boston actually had 26 threes in one minute and I think this is huge now let's take a look at this man he is looking very impressive for sure I think one of the biggest things he needed to work on was that jump shot of course that was pretty much in my opinion his staple of his game back in high school people knew this dude for being able to shoot the ball being very athletic being able to get to the hoop with ease and i think once he transitioned to college we really didn't see it as much Personally, I see it as a confidence issue. This dude really just didn't seem like the same player, didn't have the same type of swag in college, but that's okay. It definitely can take some players longer to develop and work on their game. But in my opinion, in this video, Brandon Boston looks like he's put a ton of work on his game since the season has ended and just really preparing to play, of course, for the LA Clippers. Now, he did actually get drafted the 51st pick, which that is pretty late. You guys know there's only 60 picks in the draft. And of course, a ton of players do get signed. But in my opinion, I didn't realize this dude would get dropped that far in the draft. Now, definitely didn't have the most impressive career at Kentucky. But what I think this is going to do is he's obviously for sure going to be a pick that a lot of people are sleeping on just because he didn't perform as well. But I think for sure people are going to regret not picking up Brandon Boston. Man, because just because you play poorly at the college level, and this again is just one season, of course, he's trying to go one and done you guys know he was just that guy in high school but just because you played bad in college man your whole career could turn around if you really develop work on your game do not give up man he could change everything and really could be the steal of the draft and i think personally with all the dedication that i see this dude have and of course everything that happened with terrence clark i think it's all adding fuel to the fire for him really to prove a ton of people wrong and be one of the players that can just dominate at the nba level and for sure, compared to the other people in his class and the other people that recently got drafted, I think he can compete with them definitely. But I think it's more of a confidence issue where is he if he really gets that confidence up and just has that swag on the court, he's going to be his same old self that he was back in high school and for sure could do great things in the league. But it's definitely going to take a lot of work on his game. And clearly, he's not afraid to put in a ton of time into the gym. I think this dude is a workhorse. And man, the more he works, the more confident I think he's going to be in his abilities to be able to perform at the next level you guys know this by now and i always say it, you don't perform you're out of the window you're out of a job and at the end of the day this is not just basketball this is their livelihood and how they eat so you really got to take this seriously and understand you're not going to get too many opportunities so personally i think he could stay in the nba 
or even the G League at this point, but he's definitely going to be in some spot. I can't see him going anywhere just because in my opinion, man, he just is too good of a pick. And I think he's going to develop into such a strong player in the very near future. And they were even saying he would be a top 10 draft pick in high school. And it's crazy to me how someone so highly ranked can end up being drafted. Of course, he did get drafted, but late second round is just a big surprise with the type of high profile that he was, the type of player he was coming out of high school. You guys know this. Now, unfortunately, we do see it all the time where these highly recruited players don't end up panning out the way that they thought we would. And of course, high school basketball doesn't mean everything. It's only pretty much a stepping stone to get to the next level. And you got to perform wherever you're at. But I think he is going to do well. And definitely the summer league is going to be fire this year because it's going to be a huge opportunity for these guys to prove what their worth is can they really stick in the nba or not or do they need to be maybe in the g league or even out of the nba altogether and i think brandon boston has that type of fuel and fire and motivation right now where all the people who've doubted him how many reports have stated that brandon boston maybe wasn't as good as expected the fact that he didn't perform well at kentucky the fact that of course his draft stock was dropping and we've seen it over and over again and what is this going to do this is going to fuel this dude for the future to really prove everyone wrong man again i think brandon boston in this case right now again is an underdog and you guys know i love seeing the underdogs really take on a challenge and be able to overcome all the obstacles that are in front of them and whenever something happens so tragic as you losing a friend i think this can do tremendous 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 things to your mental aspect of your game but hopefully he can use this as fuel to really make of course Terrence Clark proud and really keep a spot and dominate in the NBA now I only have one question for BJ Boston and it's this Man, where was this jump shot when you were at Kentucky? I would have loved to see this dude something do something like this when he was at Kentucky. For sure, he had glimpses where he showed his game, but I really don't think he was ever that guy on the court where he really took initiative and just did something like this because he didn't even seem like that type of player when he was at Kentucky. But man, the way he's able to efficiently knock down these threes, man, hopefully it can translate and he really does show what he's made of in the NBA. But you guys let me know, do you you agree or disagree do you think brandon boston is really going to perform well at the next level let me know in the comments down below but man i just want to thank you guys we just hit a shorts that actually went for a million views and that is huge to me so i appreciate each and every one of you that took the time out and watched that video that's crazy man and i really appreciate it we've been growing like crazy on the channel we're about to hit 20k and again i'm always trying to look at comments and take a look at what you guys do say so man drop a comment let me know what you think about the topic about this upcoming summer league and again brandon boston only has a short time to prove himself you guys know the summer league is very short specifically this year and i'm not sure if it's always like this but man you do not have a lot of time to make your presence known in the league so you got to take every opportunity to get a bucket get your teammates involved to make an impact on the game any opportunity you have you got to take it so you guys let me know if i missed anything in the comments down below any video suggestions drop them down below leave me a comment i'm always responding to comments man and for sure we're doing big things on this channel man so stay tuned big things coming but all right it's lnh and i'm out